the lecture i'm going to discuss about summarize and summarize column in power bi so summarize or uh, here function that returns a summary table for a request of total over a set of groups so let's understand with the example so employees table that i'm using and this is the records so the next is here you need to go on this new table so when I click here new table then you need to write the query so first uh, writing here summarize and press enter here you can give it uh, some or uh, description so summarize you need to give the table names you should give here or uh, group by columns names and the name and here expression and this creates summary input group by a specified column so here the table that I'm going to use employees after that here let's use uh, employees or uh, this terms using department id if i use this and press enter then you can get here department id or uh, from employees table so here this is summarizing employee or table employees table with this columns after that the next is here let's use your uh, group by so giving the comma and uh, after that the next uh, or this place let's use uh, double quote so double quote we can write meaningful masses for the columns so employees serve with department wise So printing uh, a new table that sorry new column that create with the name of employees and with department wise and here we can use the aggregate function so some aggregate function going to use then you can see here this place sum and sum x you can uh, use there and doing the sum on salary columns here you can see this is the here salary columns so what will that do so there that uh, create one new column and this here or uh, do uh, summation of the salary according to department id device so department id that selected now if i press enter so here you can see null so null has 7000 so in the table or uh, this place you can see here this is the null 7000 and uh, now I'm going to make that on this ascending order. So null is now 7000 and 10 has 4400. So uh, this place, uh, let's go there on the table. Then you can see 10 has uh, 4400 and in uh, this place employs 20. So 20, let's calculate. 13,000 plus 6,000 that is 19,000 so now here 30 19,000 that's displaying okay so summarize function first you need to give the table name then this place give post to table or column of the table and the new column that going to create or this one employees are with department wise and here or this place you can do here or some of employee salary so some or you can give any aggregate function like max mean so this return here maximum salary inside or employees so if I here you can see or uh, 13,000 is the greater and bit uh, here if I go on this table so on department 20 13,000 is greater and in department 30 or till this one 11,000 is the greater salary highest salary okay so you can see or uh, this place or uh, 30 11,000 is the highest salary so we can make the some column into the group after that we can perform aggregate function with the help of summarize function so this is here summarize that return summary table for the request of totals over a set of groups now let's understand the next uh, is now summarize columns so this is here summarize uh, function and next is summarize column 
So summarize column function combine all the filter on the same or table into a single filter. So uh, here on summarize column you can do the filter. So let's click on this new and uh, this place uh, let's write here summarize then you can see group by column you need to give filter and name expression and this is the brief description. So here going to use the employees and employees or you can use uh, any or columns so I want to print here employees first name and the next is here employees department ID so department ID then or this place let's separate by the comma and uh, sorry not to uh, department ID let's use here salary salary and uh, next here going to use the filter so we can use here filter function there so filter we can apply filter then or this place or using uh, employees or let's use here single code employees and uh, doing the filter on employees so this place so uh, department id wise going to do the filter so i wanna display only department id 60 okay so let's understand this query so summarize here first is now you need to give or uh, uh, this place or uh, uh, table columns names so wanna display here first time and the saturday so after that this here or uh, filter and table name that selected and employees filtering on department id so when that font department id 60 so only 60 record that display and there first time and the salary you can display there so if i press here enter so you can see or department id 60 in the 60 or this place the employee first time alexander and the salary is 9000 uh, bruce here or uh, 6000 this all okay so likewise uh, this place you can give uh, any filter condition this place you can apply the filter condition on any columns like salary, manager id, hire, date, employees department or uh, commission packed okay and uh, the next is here you can add multiple column this place so i wanna display here employee id also so wanna display employee id separate this by comma and uh, here let's uh, execute now you can see uh, this place so uh, i selected i think department id so all departments here 60 60 you can see now let's uh, use here employee employee id and uh, now let's enter so here you can see employee id 103 the employee name alexander has the 9000 salary so the benefit of uh, summarized column you can uh, use here or uh, filter condition this place but if i use uh, this place here summarize only so summarize then you can see or uh, there is the problems cannot find employee id you can also this is the employee now or uh, let's give here this employee only okay but uh, there is the problem parameter is not correct so this is the main problem of summarize function summarize function you cannot apply the filter but with the uh, summarize column you can apply so this is the difference between summarize and summarize column in power bi so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you